You can see the damage to the metal siding on this building just to give you an idea how intense these flames were. And while there were some radio issues at the beginning of this call, the big story here is the weather. The fire at this Dunbar Township trucking company burned intensely as crews tried to put it out. Sky 4 over the scene shows smoke pouring after firefighters were able to contain most of the flames. No workers were inside the garage when it started, but a nearby building was evacuated. The building housed a trucking company, so we weren't sure what we was dealing with. Once access was made, the uh, firefight begun. Guys did a heck of a job knocking the fire down. Fayette County 911 switched to a new radio band around the exact same time this call came in, causing confusion for some firefighters, but overall, the outcome would have likely been the same, crew said. One big challenge frigid temperatures that caused Fayette EMS to set up a rehabilitation tent. When the weather gets really cold and we have inclement weather, you know, we're out a good bit. This is the second call so far this season where EMS officials have been on standby for the fire crews. Not just the fire victims. As soon as they come out of the fire, they're they're sweating. They're you know they're in the the heat in there. And as soon as they come out and hit the cold air, you know it could be snow, it could be rain, and they're all instantly cold. Um, so we set the tent up, um, you know, do some rehab on them, make sure that they're uh, physically okay, and then we give them some coffee, try to warm them up, so they can get back in there and get the job done. We did rotate guys in and out. We made sure people went to rehab, got fresh and stuff like that. That's why you see so many guys here, just for rehab. The state police fire marshal is investigating just how this started. No one was hurt. In Fayette County, Ashley Hardway, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.